Beryl is now a tropical storm after barreling into Texas on its coast as a Category 1 hurricane early this morning. It brought damaging storm surge, hurricane force winds, and the threat of tornadoes. Wind gusts reached more than 90 miles an hour, tearing through southeast Texas. ABC's Melissa Adon is there. This morning, hurricane Beryl slamming into Texas, making landfall just south of Houston. The category one storm bringing torrential rain and damaging winds. So we're on the dirty side of the hurricane, the toughest side. Barrel sustained winds increasing to at least 80 miles per hour. Storm surge warnings in effect with up to seven feet of surge possible above regular tide levels. The sea wall in Galveston taking a pounding and in Rosenberg, about 35 miles from Houston, officers in high water vehicles have been dispatched to make water rescues. You got to kind of prepare for the for the worst, you know, hope for the best. We're already seeing the impacts of Hurricane Barrel. For instance, these rain gutters here at this hotel in Port Lavaca ripped off. This was the first hurricane hitting Texas in the last three years. There's already a report of one man who was killed after a tree fell near his home in Houston. The Red Cross is now there helping to respond. Experts say Barrel's explosive growth into an unprecedented storm so early in the season was fueled by the Atlantic's record warmth. Officials warned that the next 24 Four hours will be rough for the Houston area and then other parts of the country will see the effects of the storm's remnants prompting a flood watch as we go from Monday into Monday night and Tuesday and then barrels going to lose its tropical characteristics and continue on moving up into the mid Mississippi and Ohio valleys as we go through the middle portions of the week. Power is out here where I am, and there are hundreds of thousands of Texans that have lost electricity due to barrel officials warning those along the coast. Stay indoors until it is safe to go out. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Port Lavaca, Texas.